Capital looking to make the Chicago PR. And we've got Griffith. There's the Bayo. Um, Griffith was the Bayo from uh, okay. Europe. I couldn't remember which one was which. I learned all. I met all of them today, and this whole day has kind of been a whirlwind, as you may understand. So. And you said that Griffith was sent to losers by Earl of M. Yes, Earl of M upset Griffith early on. Um, well, we didn't really talk a whole lot about Smash, so we talked about good food in Chicago because he needed to know. Oh, for sure. Come on. So, all right, Mewtwo, uh, another character. These guys have run kind of an interesting gauntlet. We've had a lot of character variety kind of here today, especially today with the European players oh, here. Yeah. Like all of them play different characters, and we've got we had some we have some unique uh, top players ourselves. Um, we have Big Max, Ashik, Nanza, Mario. Uh, Panda Bear's a villager. Oh yeah. He oh, uh, he, he knocked Quick out. Uh, Quick, the zero suit player. All right, Griff going up. Uh, this is an interesting matchup. This is one of my kind of personal hidden, this character may do better against Bayonetta than a lot of the rest of the cast does. Not mm -hmm. to say he wins it, but like he has tools. Shadow Ball is very good. Early kill throws. That's Crazy good. paralyzers on platforms. That, he had enough time to make dinner. Wow. That man had enough time to make dinner, come back, eat it, and down smash. Could have shared with the rest of us. I'm very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Zone's gonna be up a stock. And what can Griffith? Can Griffith pull a tyroid? That's that's the question. We'll see. Griffith's definitely putting in those combos, but Zone's playing very patient and very calm and collected. And you can see that within his play. While Griffith is trying his hardest to get in there and. Wants a revenge kill so bad. But Zone's just playing it really, really well and just. Oof. Shadow Ball hits. Just spamming them to keep, keep, kind of playing this keep away type thing. That's the way I see the matchup for Mewtwo Bayo is like, he, he has utility, but Shadow Ball, like a projectile that you can kind of spam that goes a little bit as that forward throw is going to kill. It, it, it's a little bit not a straight arrow. It's, you know, Shadow Ball kind of wavers up and down like a knuckle ball. And especially the big one, it puts on a lot of shield pressure. Uh, the difficulty I think Mewtwo has in the matchup really is just, and I know it's a cliche, but Witch Time is so difficult for Mewtwo. Uh, specifically because of, like, things like Neutral Air with the multiple hits. It's really easy for Bayo to Witch Time Mewtwo and the fact that compared Mewtwo to other characters. so light. It's just... Yeah, that and back air. He's kill. a light big target, so like going up into up oh. air. Oh, good DI. Good. Oh, he comes and up with the forward. That's going to kill across gonna... the stage. That thing is powerful. Mewtwo has ways to deal with Bayonetta. Now, I'm not saying Mewtwo wins the matchup by any means. Right. I still think that like Diddy's better against him. Cloud, Sheik, Corrin, they all have merit. But Mewtwo's like the secret hidden there are ways. And you saw some of them in that game. And a good Mewtwo can definitely take, like, take even a good player, just you know, run for his money. Like, we've seen Wadi, like, come up super huge in the PGR, just Dude, Wadi, Wadi's so good. So good. And maybe, like, Zone wants to get there and try his hardest with these, with not only his combos, his knowledge, and just showing that this, this character is actually... Really good. Yeah, Zone's got some excellent reflexes too. If you know about the neutral air strings and the chains, and you can follow up on them, if you know how many neutral airs you're about to hit, what direction the opponent's going to be sent in. So he hit, I believe, eight or nine right there, and he was able to follow it up into a grab off of the knockup. Oh. Like, that's pretty good. Like, those are good options. That's a lot of damage to put on. Yeah. Like the other time, he went for the down tilt because he thought he was going to get the third hit, but he didn't. That's the trickiest part of Mewtwo. That's the most micro of micro transactions. As the witch time hits, but Griff not able to do anything with it, and Zone dip it. He, he, he went way out, out there to stay away from that forward smash. At that point, that's just Griffith's uh, experience to see if, you know, if his witch time can close it out, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be a case. And although he is showing up a lot of pressure here, keeping Zone off the stage, but Zone rebuttaling. And just as you said, that these, these Shadow Balls, even like if they're the tinier ones, it's just making sure that it's keeping Griffith away. 
love playing these this grab game for sure. Another tricky thing I think that that also Mewtwo has is his tail. Yeah, it's it, got a lot of reach. It's almost as another sword. Forward throw, unable to kill again, and once again that that fair. And that's kind of what Mew Mewtwo's been able to do that in every move. Smash game he's ever been into. Like, it comes out real fast. Up air's gonna kill, though. Mewtwo... Mewtwo one of the lighter characters. I guess... Alright, so in the in the actual Pokemon games, right? Mewtwo weighs like 800 pounds. In comparison, Pikachu weighs like, what, 15? But you can't have an 800 pound Mewtwo floating around the skies like that. That'd be busted. Yeah. So they had to make the character lighter. And it makes sense, because the kit is so cool. Oh, for sure. Tries to get the, I think that was dash attack, um, out of the uh, the neutral air. Go went for it again. No, that was a grab attempt. I'm sorry. Oh, go oh, Griff. Griffith going for something crazy there. That that that's a different kind of a mix up. That dare and it can kill so early. I've seen Tyra do that a chunk. Mm -hmm. You're saying that like you've seen a kill at in the middle of the stage at 40 percent. Yeah, it's dumb. Like if if Bayo has rage, it has some really bizarre knockback properties on it, and there's some strange places that it hits. Ooh, <laughs> talk about a get off me move. Earl of M looked at me and just gave me the eyebrows like, oh, oh boy, oh boy, zone the guts to even charge that against the character with witch time. In like this situation, oh, oh no. no, that he meant to side me. I'm sure he meant to side B and then into up B. He, I think he wanted to stall side B. He probably could have drifted to the stage. Oh. Yeah, Earl of M saying that ba he thinks Bayonetta took up the space that he was going to teleport to, so he reactively jerked himself downward a little bit. I feel like he was going to... I still think, like, he was going to stall with the side B in place, because you can do that with Mewtwo. You can, like hit it, but not be holding a side on the joystick in, like, a direction afterwards, so it'll just float you in place, and then you can up B. Yeah. Or maybe he just thought that he can just, just drift to it with a teleport. It's possible. Magnet hands are huge in this game. Not a lot of precision necessary to hit the ledges most of the time in this particular game. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Alright, so as we go to a game three, type one. Whoa! Oh, my boy! Someone putting Griffith on a poster. I'm a happy. That was dirty nasty. I'm a happy person. That was a delicious, <laughs> delicious treat to give us. Yeah, I don't care what character you are. It's Mewtwo's hard hype. Mewtwo is a sweet character. Mewtwo is hype. I mean, granted, both of these characters are, are very good at uh, their combos, but seeing something like that is definitely super nice to see from, from Mewtwo. All right, Griff gonna send him back. Return to sender, make the game even. Not, nah, couldn't quite finish it off. Someone just knows how, exactly how to just toss out these forwarders. He does. Like it, I the, don't think he's missed one. It, it's so quick. Oh. oh, he did the thing again. He was going. He was trying to go straight to the ledge. That time was intentional. And oh. all right, there's the witch time. I was kind of expecting, if I'm being honest. I mean, Griffith has been tossing out Witch Time so so often in this match that I think even getting hit by it wouldn't be so bad compared to the three-second one, for sure. Oh, he hit but, him with the Paralyzer. Oh, that's that's going to be, be a it. stock. That is game three in favor of Zone. He's going to take a 2-1 lead. Those Paralyzers have been clutch for him. He's thrown out maybe four of them. Two have hit and turned into stocks. Yeah. That one on Battlefield game one was still just so <laughs> filthy. Oh, my lord. Casually walks up and just... Just like, oh, you're, you're going to drop shield. Because yeah. you think I'm going to side B you. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, that is my mistake. That is technically called disable. Yeah. Isn't it? Huh. Yeah. It paralyzes. That's my bad stream. I'm sorry. Don't yell at us. But Don't yeah. yell at Pack. Oh. oh, so if that had killed, do we have a name for that? I'll let you guys decide. It's really a good thing that Griffith knew that the, the Smash platform was even there to use both of his, uh, his uppies. Zone's getting a little bit more creative with his aerials. You see the raw back air? That's like hard enough to do with Mewtwo because he's so floaty. Gets the oh. second down tilt through the bat with him. I think it's frame four. Incredible move. Oh, he went for it. Auto shield. That can suck you up from the side. It's kind of like oh, yeah. Barth's up smash. Oh, yeah. 
You gotta be ready for it. And even even if it doesn't, I, some people don't even expect that last hit. The last hit's like the last hit uh, hit box is like it kind of blips out. Yeah, and it'll poke you, and sadness ensues because <laughs> that thing kills early too. Oh yeah, probably the strongest strongest move in his kit. One of for sure. He, Mewtwo definitely has like some of the most insane kill power in the game. Like just for like the raw strength of his moves. Mm -hmm. Alright, he's going for it a little too much now. He's getting a little happy with the move. Oh, he went for the dare. The dare through. That would have been the GameStop trade of all time. I think he would have landed if he was closer to the stage. Um, uh, he did it too late. Okay. Oh, I was mistaken. He finally whiffed the forward air. He did, and he got back aired for it. So he's good at him, but you gotta be precise with him. Oh, air dodge got caught, but the balloon stalled Bayo. I wonder if that made a difference on Griffith's timing. Although Zone has been very good at air dodging and SDIing out of these combos. He's been going down when he needs to go down. He's been going up when he needs to go up. Been good. Now he's just looking for, you know, grab up throws. Free! It didn't kill. He needed the oh, one needed, pummel. Yeah, he needed some pummel. Back air, though. The tail's yeah. fat. I never understood why why you don't at least get one or two pummels in. Um, I'm so afraid of mashing, I suppose. Some people can mash after one pummel, and it's it's crazy and scary. And you figure, oh, if this will kill, let's just do it. That's true. All right, he, he just whiffed two or three grabs in a row and ate. I want to say 40 damage for it. So zone even after that kill is certainly a little bit of predictability here, and Griffith's taking full advantage. Mm -hmm. I didn't get caught with the witch time. I was going to do something with the air. back air. Oh, that back air goes so far and mm -hmm. lingers so heavily. I think it surprises people, even if they know the matchup, that they get hit by it sometimes. It's just it's completely different on the timing from everything else, like with how fast the forward air is, too. Oh, Zone getting up there. That's a fair trade, too. I think if he would have tossed up air, that probably would have hit. Oh. Gets the shadow ball. He was falling back. He was looking for that all day. Zone looking to put away Griffith here. End his tournament a little bit early. Zone did a really good job of just like... Oh, gets the oh forward air, and that's going to do it. God. There it is Zone again. Zone did a fantastic job showing, like, wow. bringing it back. He brought it back. Yeah, he, he his spacing was insane in that game for the shadow ball spacing, getting the fares out there, knowing how to space to get grabs. That grab he got, like, it didn't kill right mm -hmm. before he got the back air kill, but he literally just stood there and waited because he's like, all right, you're going to land here. Here, yeah. 